Hey guys and welcome to my second Halloween tutorial, Rosie the Riveter. I love this makeup look. It's so easy, so simple, and you can use everything that you have in your makeup bag right now to recreate it for Halloween or every day. First, I'm going to use It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil and Universal Taupe to outline my eyebrows. Now I'm taking Peak Natural Stain Brow Powder and Espresso and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with it. funny story I'm actually listening to go radio while I do my makeup so that's why I'm singing to you and that is what I'm singing now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel just to set my eyebrows and now I'm going to take some scotch tape and stick them on the back of my hand first just so it's not as sticky all I had was double sided tape so that's why I'm using it and just gonna put that underneath my um, eye so that way when I do my winged liner it's gonna come out even and now I'm taking Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and I'm using that to really clean up the eyebrows and bringing it down to my eyelids so that way our shadow will stay on really well. Now I'm going in with Scripps Mineral Veil, I'm just going to put that over the concealer so that way when we put eyeshadow on it's going to blend really easily. Now I'm taking my favorite transition shade if you can't tell and that's Jessie's Girl Pure Pigment Eye Dust in Brown Sugar. I love this in my crease. It is the perfect warm brown and it's just so beautiful and so easy to use and also really cheap. You can get this at your local Rite Aid, CVS, drugstore. Now I'm taking Maybelline's The Nudes palette and just going with this light tan shade on the center of my lids to create a really natural eye look. Now I'm going in with NYC Eyeliner, honestly I don't know what it's called, it's just a black eyeliner from New York Color Cosmetics. And then I'm going to go in on top with Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper, and this is why I use the tape, just because this isn't a felt tip brush and I'm not used to this kind of brush, so I didn't want to mess it up when I did my eyeliner. You can also use tape if you're doing any kind of eye look. It really helps clean up the line without messing up your makeup or anything like that. And it's just really easy cleanup. You just peel off the tape and you're left with a really clean line. I 
I'm going back in the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm taking the two lightest shades in the palette and just popping that into my inner corners just for a little bit of a brightening effect. And off the tape goes and my eyeliner is looking pretty good. One shot, that's all it takes and I'm just kind of evening it out a little bit right here. But otherwise, one shot, all great. Now I'm going in with NYX Cosmetics Con Correct Conceal Contour Palette in medium and just using the yellow and peach shade to hide any under eye darkness. And then I'm taking NYX Cosmetics HD Concealer in green and covering all my blemishes and redness on my face. Now I'm using All May Smart Shade Makeup in shade 200 light medium and this is what I'm going to use today as my main face makeup just because foundation really does break me out. You saw in my other video that I didn't have as many blemishes as I do today and I do blend that on foundation so I try to stick to either light coverage, BB creams, or no foundation at all. And the best way to apply BB cream is just with your hands, it's just so much easier, so that's what I'm doing here. Next, I'm going in with All May Clear Complexion Liquid Makeup in shade Neutral 400, and I'm kind of just using this as a concealer on my blemishes to make sure they're more hidden, because the BB cream isn't as full coverage. Now I'm going back in with Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and highlighting my face and using my makeup sponge to blend that ish out. And I'm just setting that with the script Mineral Veil to bake. I don't really like to bake. I don't really like the way it looks. So I use really little powder and I don't keep it on that long. But I mean, you do you. If you like to bake, bake to your heart's content. I'm just curling my lashes now. And next I'm going to apply Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I really like this wand. It's cone shaped. It really makes it so easy to get your lower lashes and in the inner corners of your lashes. It's just great. And I really loaded up on the mascara because I did not feel like putting on false lashes today. So, I mean, you could add false lashes if you want to, to this look. You don't have to. You could do whatever you want. Next, I'm just going in with Tarte Cosmetics Park F Princess Bronzer and using this to bronze up my face. Next, I'm going in with Mellow Cosmetics Face Blush in Bronze. How confusing is that? Who names a blush bronze? Like, why would you do that to me? I'm going to get confused. Everybody else is going to get confused. Just don't. But right now, I'm going to just wipe off that baking. Make sure it's all off. Now that I'm like... Looking at this, maybe I need to use a darker concealer. I feel like my under eyes are bright as hell. Bright as the sun. Brighter than my future. That's, that's, that's bright. Okay, now we get to the fun part. I go in with CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liner in number 215 Passion, and I'm just gonna outline my lips this bright, bright red shade. Now 
Now I'm going in with Trustique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Chili Red. I love Trustique. I love the brand. My friends love the brand. They're just so convenient. All their makeup's in stick form and just so easy to use. And to top it off, I'm using NYX so Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade Amsterdam to finish off the lip look. And I was just blending more there, just to blend that blush out a lot, if it's really pigmented. And now I just went in with NYX Dewy Setting Spray. And that's it guys, that's the final look. You are officially Rosie the Riveter. I love it, I love the 1940s look, I love the hair, I love the red lip, I love the bandana, everything was just so easy to do. Um, you could use all the makeup that you already have, everybody has an eyeliner, everybody has a red lipstick, this is so easy to recreate for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on all my other social media channels to keep updated on what I'm doing now. Until next time guys, stay golden.